Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving volumes of solid figures. What is a routine problem? A routine problem is a translation problem in which you can write an equation and there is an immediate solution. What is a non-routine problem? A non-routine problem is a problem in which it requires analysis and insights into known principles of mathematics. Our first problem is a routine problem. One of the amenities of La Carlotta Resort is their cylindrical swimming pool. Its water capacity is 200 cubic meters. If the area at the bottom of the pool is 20 square meters, what is the depth of the pool? How are we going to solve the problem? Yes, you are right. We are going to use the first step plan. What is the first step? Alright, the first step is we are going to understand the problem. We should know what is asked. So, what is asked in this problem? Yes, the problem is asking for the depth of the pool. We should also know what are the given facts. So, the given facts are the pool is a cylinder. The pool's water capacity is 200 cubic meters. And lastly, the area at the bottom of the pool is 20 square meters. Yes, we already understand the problem. What is the next step? Alright, the next step is we're going to make a plan. The swimming pool is cylindrical in shape. Let us use the formula below to derive the formula to find its depth or height. So, the formula in finding the volume of a cylinder is volume is equal to pi times radius squared times height. So, to find height, we are going to divide both sides of the equation by the area of the base which is pi times radius square. Then, pi times radius square is cancelled. Then, the remaining item at the right side is height. So, the formula in finding height is equal to volume divided by pi times radius square or the area of the base. We already have a plan. The next step is we're going to carry out the plan. Let's solve the problem. We're going to use this formula. Height is equal to volume divided by the area of the base, which is pi times radius square. Since area is equal to pi times radius square, and in our problem, the area is equal to 20 square meters, then, pi times radius square is equal to 20 square meters. So, height is equal to the volume in our problem is 200 cubic meters and the area of the base is 20 square meters. So, let's divide 200 cubic meters divided by 20 square meters is equal to 10 meters. Therefore, the depth of the pool is 10 meters. Alright, we already solved the problem. And the last step is, we're going to check. How we're going to check? 
This is one way to check your answering. Go back to your computation. Check if the given values are properly substituted to the formula. Check also the flow of your computation. Our second problem is a non-routine problem. The base area of a water tank is 15 square meters. It is half filled with 75 cubic meters of water. Find the height of the water tank. To answer this problem, we're going to use an illustration. Suppose that this is the water tank. The volume of the water inside the water tank is 75 cubic meters. And the area of the base of this water tank is 15 square meters. Our problem is we're going to find the height of the water tank. So, how are we going to solve? Okay, we're going to find the volume of the water tank. First, we all know that the volume of the water is only half of the volume of the water tank. So, we're going to multiply 75 cubic meters by 2 and the volume of the water tank is equal to 150 cubic meters. Then, we're going to find the height. Volume of the water tank is equal to base times height. Then, to find the height, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by the area of the base. So, the area of the base is cancelled and the remaining item at the right side is height. So, to find height, we're going to divide volume by the area of the base. Let's solve. Height is equal to the volume of the water tank is 150 cubic meters divided by the area of the base, which is 15 square meters. Then let's divide 150 cubic meters divided by 15 square meters. The height is equal to 10 meters. Therefore, the height of the water tank is 10 meters. This is the way how we're going to solve this problem. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.